Hello guys, welcome back to another video. I am here to tell you what the difference between 464, C3, 494 and everything else that you need to know about creating candles with soy wax and different types of soy wax. Okay, let's just jump straight into it because I feel like I want to create a video which I really needed back when I just started candle making and you know, I couldn't find a video where literally it just needed to tell me everything I needed to know in under five minutes. So I'm gonna try, and Make this as quick as possible because I know how it gets when you're trying to look for just the answer to your one question and you have to sit through a 25 minute video and then at the end of it you don't even have your answer. So when I started candle making I wanted to predominantly use soy wax but obviously I didn't know the difference between you know what 494 was what the difference between 464 or c3 was and i didn't know what the benefits were obviously everyone they have their own preferences in you know how they use the wax at their temperature how they handle it 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 really just depends on the, the actual candle maker so i just wanted to tell you guys just some basics just basics of my experiences of the different wax that i've used so first thing you have container wax and then you also have pillar wax. So I didn't know the difference between these two until obviously I wanted to create pillar candles. So pillar candles are something like this. So candles that stand up, you know, on their own like candlesticks or if you want to play around with different molds then you 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 have to use can uh, you have to use pillar wax for pillar candles. And then container is literally if you're going to use a container for your candle wax. Now what's the difference? So obviously you can't use container wax with pillar because container wax is much more softer than pillar wax and pillar wax is much more harder than container wax. So if you try to put container wax and you use it as a pillar, it's gonna be a lot more softer and it's gonna melt way easier and you don't know, um, it may not last as long as well. So this is the difference. I'll show you guys the difference. So when I was starting out, obviously I didn't know what the difference was. So I ended up using container wax as a pillar wax. And here's the difference. This is pillar wax and this is container wax used as pillar wax. So you don't want to do that. With the pillar wax, I would recommend if you want to use soy, then probably Kara soy. It's, um, it comes in little pellets and obviously you melt them down and you add your fragrance. It holds color very well, obviously depending on how much you use. One tip I would say is don't use the dye chips sparingly because if you use it sparingly then it will come out a weird color and it, and if it's not mixed properly then it might come out really diluted so don't do that. Um, again with the container waxes now I feel like you have to you have to try out different container waxes to find out which one works best for you okay so obviously with c3 and 464 they are both soy waxes but I think with 464 it has a higher melting point and for me I tried out with c3 first and I personally didn't like it because when you burn it it comes out a little bit like this so if you guys can see around the edges this is C3 and it kind of looks really fluffy. It looks really, I don't know, it looks kind of look moldy, but that's perfectly normal. I know when people first start out with candle making, they freak out because they're like, oh my gosh, why is it looking like a fluffy marshmallow cloud? But that's completely normal with C3. I personally didn't like the aesthetics of that. Some people don't really care, so they'll continue using that. I decided to use uh, 464, which is a lot better for me. And obviously with 464, you can hold a lot more fragrance I think don't quote me on that but I think you can hold a lot more fragrance than the C3 with the C3 I couldn't really get much of um, a hot throw from it cold throw was brilliant hot throw I couldn't smell nothing and it looked moldy at the end so I didn't like that um, now 494 I just recently discovered what it was because I was sent it by accident I was like I ordered 464 why are you sending me 494 494 is only for wax melts they cannot be burnt through wick as easily so don't use the 494 for any candles it's purely just for wax melts soy wax melts that's the wax that you use okay I hope I haven't gone over five minutes and I hope I have helped someone out there again my advice is you have to trial and error with the different kind of soy wax but just remember you have container wax you have pillow wax make sure you know which wax you're using for what kind of candles that you're using